This is a troubleshooting example. Here we replace a defective GFCI outlet that keeps tripping intermittently, but also we figure out which cables go where, how this outlet is powered, and what this outlet powers down the line. That is other devices and uh, electrical outlets. So looking at the blue electrical box, we have three cables, one on the bottom and two on the top left and right. This outlet, this GFCI is being fed power on the top left cable. Top left cable is coming from an ordinary electrical outlet on our left side, and that ordinary outlet on our left side is being powered by a 20 amp breaker from the electrical panel. Now, over on our right side, this ordinary outlet is being powered by the load terminals on this GFCI outlet. Because the ordinary outlet on the right is connected to the load terminals on this GFCI, this means that if the ordinary outlet on the right experiences a ground fault condition, this GFCI is going to detect it and cut off power not only to the itself, but to the outlet on the right, thereby giving you GFCI protection at this ordinary outlet, even though it's not a GFCI. The top left cable that feeds this GFCI goes into the line terminals on the back of this GFCI and also attached to another position in the back on these same line terminals is the bottom yellow cable which goes to the dishwasher underneath this outlet. To figure out which cable goes where, let's go ahead and use a tone test set or a wire tracker. So we're going to go ahead and send an audio signal down both pairs of cable, and we're going to go ahead and listen for an audio tone. If we pick up an audio tone on a certain cable, certain outlet, then we know that that outlet corresponds to one of these cables. So this pair of hot neutrals goes to this top cable on the left, and this pair of hot neutrals goes to the Romex cable here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and hook up our cable tracker, and we'll have it set to analog mode. It doesn't matter, analog and digital. We're injecting an audio signal straight into the wires. And we're hooking up the alligator leads. So we're sending an audio signal straight in. And let's turn on our probe over here. Um, anytime you need to do wiring and wire locating, these are very handy. And I've seen these used for many, many years when electricians run electrical cables, as well as running network cables, network cables, data vo and voice cables. When you have a telephone closet full of hundreds of connections, it helps to know exactly which cables is which, particularly when you're troubleshooting. So let's go ahead and take a look here. The signal's going. Nothing. Okay, so this bottom cable, we're injecting a signal in the bottom cable, and that outlet to the left is not giving us any signal. Let's go ahead and hook the same wires to the top pair of cables. So this set of wires goes to the Remax cable on the left over here, on the left, and then let's go ahead and check it, check it again. As you can hear, hold the probe up to this wire, we can hear the audio signal. We can hear it. Okay. Let's go away. Hold the probe. Yep. So yeah, we're picking up signal here. So the top pair of cables on the left definitely is connected 
to the outlet on the left over here. So we found out what cable goes where.